what struck me the most is the corruption. So I thought we are facing that challenge in South Africa only. And then only to find that most of the issues, when you go in details, most of the issues that we are facing in South Africa, is like the whole com continent is facing those issues. So um, the spirit of women, uh, while we were discussing, asking questions, commenting, and uh, complimenting our facilitators, like you could feel but everyone is angry about this whole thing that is happening, colonization, uh, having resources, but we are not rich, we are still poor because we can't, we can't produce them to the final product. Uh, I think as um, African women, we have uh, that thing of like we are less fortunate when it compared to, to men. So I think we have to do this more often until we exercise the powers that we have as women so that we learn about things that are happening where we can exercise our powers as women. Because at the end of the day, we are the majority in Africa. There are few, there are few men compared to women. So whatever is happening, it mostly affects women compared to, to, to guys because there are very few in the country. And if like, for example, maybe there is no infrastructure, there is no water, who's going to the river to fetch the water? It's a women. Okay, what I'm going to do now, um, I will draft a report. Uh, I've been taking pictures of each and every slide because I'm not sure whether we'll get um, <coughs> the slides that we, uh, the facilitator we're using to do presentation. So I've been taking pictures and then uh, I came with my laptop. I'm recording everything that is being discussed. So wh why I'm doing that, I need to draft an overall report that will cover uh, all the topics, all the modules that were discussed, and then I will touch them like in details. So that when I go back to, to women and having meetings and sessions about what happened in Zambia, I will have my report that have everything that we discussed and then explain to them, then we engaged.